Welcome to Corrective Exercise. My name is Patrick, and today we're going to look at proper squat form. First, we're going to start with some improper squat forms, and I'm going to have Jared, my assistant, help out today. So, first improper squat form we're going to look at is feet externally rotated and the knee cave in. So as you can see, as he squats, his uh, feet, because they're, it all starts at the feet, his feet are out, his ankles are kind of caving in, his foot is flattening out, and that's causing his knees to also cave in. This causes a lot of excessive pressure on the knee joint, and I can explain why some people might feel uh, some soreness in the knees from doing squats. The second common um, mistake that you see with squat form is that is the heel wants to come off the ground and the knees are going way past the front of the toes. Generally this means that someone has really tight, tight calves and their ankle range of motion is really limited. So ideally you want to keep that heel down. Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit, how to correct that. Third and final common squat mistake that, you'll, that, is, that you'll see very often is excessive forward lean. Okay. So this generally means that someone has, uh, this is usually due to weak glutes um, and also some tightness in the calves. Basically just to get any lower, he's dropping his shoulders. Um, let's have you demonstrate rounding the back a little bit too. Rounding that back out. So ideally the back should be nice and flat. But as he's squatting, um, to get any lower, he's dropping his, his shoulders down to make it seem like he's going lower, but his hips are actually staying where they're at. Facing forward. Welcome to Corrective Exercise. Now we're talking about proper squat, squat form. So first thing, when squatting, you want to assess, let's start at the feet. Toes are pointing straight forward, just like Jared's doing. Okay, and uh, let's have you do a couple squats, Jared. Ideally, in order to achieve maximum resu results with this exercise, you want your body to be in proper alignment. So that all starts with toes straight forward. In turn, then the knees are going straight forward. There you go. Jared's doing it great. His knees are following his toes, basically. Let's have you move to the side. Ideally, in the, from the side view, we should um, see parallel lines from his back and his shin bone should be parallel. So the angle from his back to his shin is the same. Now this isn't always the easiest if you're doing a squat on your own, but if you do have mirrors nearby, you can, you can assess from the side. Good, nice flat back. And that's the proper squat form.